Hey guys, welcome back. Um, in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about sourcing PCT. So I'm constantly, constantly being hit up in the comments um, asking for sources. Now keep in mind, I don't want to refer anybody to anything illegal. And so doing a video like this is kind of something I'm hesitant on because some of these products aren't necessarily legal um, depending on where you live. So I'm going to put this video out there and just please follow the laws for wherever it is you live. Keep that in mind. Don't do anything illegal. Okay, some of these products can be bought through the companies I work with and they are not intended for human consumption. Okay, so they're intended for lab use only. Um, however, these are legitimate products that can be used for your lab rat. And so I'm going to talk about those in brief. Now, before I talk about where to find them, I just want to do a quick rehash on PCT and why it's important, especially after your rat goes through a SARM cycle. So the problem with PCT that people don't understand, specifically with SARMs, is that they shut down your testosterone production, okay? That's what they were designed to do. RAD140 and S23 specifically were created to be male contraceptives, and the way they worked is by shutting down your testosterone production, okay? So if you're taking either of those, you are gonna be at least suppressed, if not totally, totally shut down. Now, there's a lot of confusion here because people think that when you are going through your PCT, your estrogen is a problem. Okay, now there's a misunderstanding there because people think your estrogen spikes. Generally, that's not the case. The problem is that your testosterone is gone. So the ratio of testosterone to estrogen is out of whack. That's why guys get estrogenic side effects after a PCT cycle, or after a SARM cycle and during their PCT, right? It's not because your estrogen's elevated, it's because your testosterone is dropped. Now, that being said, there are things you can do to prevent estrogenic side effects, such as estrogen blockers, CIRMs, whatever, but that's not the primary thing you need to be focused on. The primary thing you need to be focused on is getting your testosterone production back to where it was before the cycle, right? The best product for doing that is HCG. That stimulates your testicles to start producing testosterone again. Now, they're talking about making it illegal at this point in time. I can walk in without a prescription to my local clinic where I get my TRT and like I said, don't need a prescription. I just call them up, say, hey, I'm coming in for a vial of HCG and they have it ready for me to go. Okay, no prescription required. Now, it's not that way in every state or every country, but you can still buy it online. And if you choose to buy it online instead of going to your local clinic, the option is available. Um, Amino Asylum has HCG 5000 IUs injectable. It's the same stuff that I get prescribed by my doctor. It's a different compounding pharmacy, obviously, uh, but the same potency and the reviews on it are very, very good. Um, legitimate product. And so that would be an option. Okay, again, that's Amino Asylum. They have HCG. They also have Tamoxifen. Tamoxifen is a serum. It's a selective estrogen receptor modulator, okay? So you take Tamoxifen and it's going to selectively block estrogen at the receptor, okay? And guys prefer Tamoxifen as an estrogen blocker because it's blocking estrogen at places like your nipples where you tend to get gynecomastia presenting itself through the imbalance of estrogen and testosterone, okay? So you could use Tamoxifen either orally, um, you can pick it up from Amino Asylum also, or um, Rats Army just came out with a phenomenal new product. It's a topical tamoxifen. And the guys in the test group um, have had tremendously good results with it. And the reason I'm excited about that is because tamoxifen, like I said, is a selective estrogen receptor modulator. So if you're directly applying it to your nipples and it's soaking in through your nipples directly to the receptor, obviously it's putting less strain on your body being processed through your stomach and liver, right? But it's hitting, it's, I mean, almost instantaneously going to be available to the receptors underneath the nipple to block the estrogen. And so this is actually something I'm planning to try soon. I can't right now. Um, I'll go into details later about what I'm using right now um, and why I can't use this, but I'm not gonna disclose that in this video <laughs> for certain reasons. Um, but this is a very exciting 
creation in my book, okay? The fact that you can put it directly on the nipple and it's going directly to where it needs to be is pretty exciting for me. So if you're wanting to get those products, uh, my discount codes, if you go to the link in the video description, obviously that's there. Rats Arm, you can get 20% off with code DADBOD2. Amino Asylum has a code uh, for 20% off that you'll have to type in. I'm not gonna bother saying it here on the video because it's this long alphanumeric code. So if you go to the link in the video description, um, you can find that code or you can just use my link and that should give you the discount. So again, um, Rats Army has the transdermal tamoxifen, which I'm really excited about and it showed really good, result, really good results. Or you can go to Amino Asylum and get both your HCG and your tamoxifen from them um, in one order, okay? So I'm just pulling it up again real quick. And their tamoxifen is, um, it's a 30 mil liquid and there's 20 grams per, 20 milligrams per mil. Okay, so in contrast, I get my prescription to combat gynecomastia was 10 milligrams twice per day. Okay, so you could technically take one third of a mil twice a day and that would be the same dose as what I was prescribed from my doctor, okay? So keep that in mind as a reference point. Now, just to reiterate, HCG is the most important to get your testosterone production back on track. A typical testosterone booster probably isn't gonna cut the cake, okay? Traditional testosterone boosters are making up for a deficit in your diet somewhere. So maybe you're not getting enough zinc or something in your diet and that's affecting your testosterone production, right? That's what the test boosters are meant to make up for. The thing is most guys aren't going to be deficit in any of those products enough to really benefit from testosterone boosters. Okay, so that's why something like actual HCG is important because that that is specifically designed to get your testosterone production back on track. It's a small injection every other day and very, very effective. Okay, and then the tamoxifen would be to block the estrogen at the receptor in the nipple to prevent gynecomastia side effects. So keep those in mind. I hope this video helps. Those are the two sources that I have with good quality PCT products. Go check them out. Um, if your rat is using SARMs, you're going to need something like this um, to protect him from gynecomastia. So thank you guys for watching. Hope this video helps. Hope that explanation helps a little bit and why a PCT is important and what components of the PCT are important for specific reasons. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, sorry if I'm a little out of it. I went through an extreme acupuncture appointment today. It wound up completely wiping me out. I got like 60 needles in me. Um, he did cupping, he did some kind of the massage stone, um, and then he did a, like an electrical pulse through some of my muscles. And so it completely wiped me out today. I was gonna be doing a video production all day long and that knocked me on my ass. I came home, I almost had to have my girlfriend come pick me up from the clinic because I could almost not drive. Uh, I was so out of it. And I uh, came home and just crashed for three hours. I just woke up a couple hours ago, uh, made myself a six shot espresso <laughs> and chugged that. And so I'm waking up enough now that I can start doing some videos. So I'm sorry if I seem a little out of it today, but um, here I am trying to produce some good content that's beneficial for somebody. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.